Hey Sugarboo, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel. I am Shantae and we are doing the beautiful Kalista and Kehlani's hair today in this tutorial. So we're starting off with Kehlani, my middle child, my beautiful girl. But I'm sorry, before I go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the family, we would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, hey mama, hey friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So I wanted to create this star hairstyle with Kehlani's long gorgeous tresses. She has a type 2 wavy hair, just a little bit of kink in there, just a little bit of curl. She got a little bit of spiral in there, but for the most part her hair is very wavy, very long, and very thick, okay? She has some thick volume wavy hair so we're gonna be doing five ponytails that's what we need we're gonna do three in the front and we're gonna do two in the back so here I am doing the three in the front and then we're gonna start connecting these dots to make our five point star okay very simple very easy to do if you can draw it on paper you can do it on this hairstyle so once I complete each of my five ponytails, I'm then gonna braid these up. So that one in the center, we're gonna split that in two and we're gonna do two braids. And this is gonna be the top point of our five point star. Then those two ponytails on the side, well one of those we are gonna split into two and create two braids and the other ponytail is gonna just be braided up into one braid. I know it sounds a little confusing, but I promise you it is very, very simple. So I'm just adding these pom-poms in just for you know decoration I recently purchased these off of Amazon and I thought they were super cute and I wanted to give them a try I will say I do like them they were very easy to use and it was something different than using the regular degler hair balls so here I am I have my first ponytail that one in the center I split it in two and as you can see I'm connecting it to those two ponytails in the back this is forming our little triangle for our star Now remember, I said one of those side ponytails we're gonna also split into two, but that second side ponytail, that's gonna be just one braid. And the reason I'm doing that is because I need one braid to go across the triangle and the other one is gonna go down to the back ponytail. And as you can see, I'm braiding it up and I'm gonna connect it to that right ponytail just like that. And that is creating our second point on our star. And then I'm about to finish up on the third point going across the crown. Now for our final point to create our five point star, we're gonna take this one side ponytail on the right hand side and we're gonna cross it over to the left hand back ponytail, all right? Sounds easy? I know, it's very, very easy. It looks complicated, but it was super easy. And there we have our star created in the back of her head. Now I did, you know, I, I love my dramatic flair. I'm very much for hair accessories. So I had purchased this hair glitter also off of Amazon and I wanted to use it. I really was itching to put some glitter in my girl's hair. So what I ended up doing was taking that glitter and kind of tracing out that star just so you could really get Give that star some oomph, some pop back there. And all of these things can be purchased through our Amazon store. The link is in the description box below. Now time for my baby girl, Calista, the youngest pom-pom sisters of all. She is four years old, representing her type three slash two. She has a little bit of wave, a very loose curl hair, and it is very fine. So when it comes to styling her hair, I do take very a lot more precautions than I would styling Kalia or Kehlani's hair. So um, with this style, I kind of just want to do something fun in the front, which is what I tend to do for most of her hairstyles. And I'll either pull it back into a ponytail because baby girl is very active we don't want her hair to come back matted after a day spent around rolling around and doing god knows what else 
she plans on doing for the day. So I'm just doing a part from ear to ear across the crown. She had the giggles y'all and it was driving me insane. But I tried to manage by doing my parts as straight as possible with her acting so silly. So I started off with like a slanted part. I didn't want it to be straight back. And that's because we're gonna create like this kind of like triangle effect with the ponytails in the front of her hair. I use only elastic bands when I style her hair and this is because elastic bands are very easy to remove they don't cause a whole bunch of like extra tension for her fine hair and they can like they do slip out very easily so the I will not recommend elastic bands for thick hair like Lonnie if I'm doing like a big braid or something like a big ponytail I will use the regular rubber bands if I'm doing like small little cute designs I'll use the elastic bands but the only one who gets elastic bands the only is Kalissa and that's only because she has very fine hair and I don't want to cause any extra breakage using those rubber bands so once we create these five cute little ponytails in the front, and as you can see, we have this nice triangle part just to add like a little bit of, you know, just, just something different, you know, just to switch it up for a little bit. I'm going to braid each one of these ponytails and I'm just doing a simple plait. And then we're going to pull her hair up into a high ponytail in the back and then create three braids out of that one ponytail and add some beads on the end because what four-year-old doesn't love beads? I know Callista does. So anytime I do style her hair, I do try to incorporate beads somewhere in there because she absolutely loves them. I also put the pom-poms in her hair as well because she really, really liked how they looked on Kehlani. So I, I tried them out on her and they look super cute. And we're, of course, we are almost near Christmas. So we did this holiday green and red hairstyle. All right, we're gonna style Lani one more time and that'll be the end of our wonderful video. So her hair has been freshly washed from her last style. She rocked that uh, star hairstyle for about a week and a half. It held up very well, which is very surprising because most of Kehlani's hairstyles don't last past five days, but that one did very well. So this one, I kind of want to create it like this Christmas tree kind of thing because like I said, we're in the middle of our 25 days of giveaways. Christmas is coming to a close, so we are doing Doing some festive holiday hair so what I'm doing is creating a triangle part at the very front top crown of her hair and then at the front near her forehead we're going to create a three small little ponytails and we're gonna do a little bit of connecting the dot to create this nice triangle festive holiday hairstyle I'm going in with our red and green elastic bands um, just because they're just so colorful and cute. And I love using elastic bands when I'm doing small ponytails like this on Kehlani anyway. So after we complete those three small ponytails in the front, we're gonna do a second row, but on that second row, we're going to do two ponytails and we're gonna connect the three ponytails in the front to the middle row second ponytail lord this is a mouthful i don't know how to explain this mess but it is very 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 easy so at those two ponytails we're going to split the ponytail in the middle to connect it to the one on the left side you see that you see how it's connecting and then green elastic band very good and then we're going to do the same thing on the other ponytail that's in the middle And then last but not least, we're going to do the final ponytail and those two ponytails we have in the middle are going to connect to this one in the very back. And as you can see, we have like this nice Christmas tree. We got these little ornaments, these little 
triangle do you see it you know use your imagination i know y'all see it it looks cute right now i was debating on putting glitter on this but i really just like the simplicity of this kind of style so i left it alone i'm going in again with my not having it detangler and i'm putting that throughout her hair brush it through real good and then we're going to do a donut bun in the back because i just love how sophisticated donut buns look on Kehlani. Like they just make her look so like little adult like. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Now I have a very large donut hole because um, my girls have a lot of hair. So this is my way of creating her donuts because of all the hair that she has. I have to wrap her hair in and out of the donut. Like it's, it's just like, it, it, yeah, it's a headache. <laughs> I can't do the simple just comb over. No, I have to like loop her hair in and out of the donut to get it to cover. And then I'll just go in and kind of just, you know, fix the hair as I can. I go in with a ponytail holder to hold it down with some bobby pins as well. And then I'm gonna use a hairnet. I learned this trick during her dance class days. I'm gonna take a hairnet to help with those flyaways. And I mean, it makes it look so good. I added a scrunchie as well for, you know, my added effect, because we love accessories over here. And she is pretty much done. That is it for this look. Well, thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial for cute, kids, simple, and easy holiday hair. We appreciate y'all. We will see y'all on another tutorial. Be blessed and be safe.